the input signal analyzer for frequency response, phase and uh, time delay is very easy to use. You copy your sine sweep uh, you found on your desktop uh, on a CD or on a USB stick and play it with your car stereo. You check the input leveling. The sine sweep uh, leveling must be at least minus uh, 35 uh, dB. If you don't reach the minus 35 dB, you can uh, adjust the volume, uh, pull up the volume on your car stereo. You can choose another sweep um, or you can adjust the measuring sensitivity. Uh, for example, if you reach minus 40 dB uh, on, the, on the input uh, monitor, you can grow up the measuring sensitivity at 5 dB. Then you have to do three clicks. You have to choose the external source because the sign sweep uh, comes from your OEM car stereo. You have to choose the input you want to measure, uh, the input where your car stereo is connected to your DSP. And you have to click the RTA sign start sign sweep button. With the next sweep, the measuring will start and after a few seconds, you become the result. The result is the frequency response for the left and the right channel in separate. Black is the left channel, uh, red is the right channel. Um, regarding the checkboxes. You can display the electrical sum of the left and the right channel so you can see and phase issue in the summing. You can show the phase, the relative phase response, the blue line and you see in this example there is an Alpas filter, the phase is uh, growing down to minus 180 degree to upper frequencies. You become extended information in the FAC analyzer pattern you become the uh, the frequency and the uh, the leveling of the mouse position if you move the mouse you become the level of the left and the right channel on mouse position you become the calculated relative phase at the mouse position and you become the maximum gaining maximum gaining means the highest point in your measuring in this example by by 70 75 hertz the maximum gaining of the frequency response is minus 26.9 db after this you can adjust your input filters your disk section you can uh, correct you can adjust the frequency response with the input equalizer. You can adjust the relative phase response with the Alpas filter in the uh, filter section. And to check your settings, you have to measure behind the input filters. Behind the input filters means you have to measure um, on the mixer output, in this case the output group 1 click again the measuring button and now the frequency response and the phase response is right adjusted. Okay, here's the example in real time. I play the sign sweep uh, from my OEM car stereo. I check the leveling in the DSP monitor. The leveling is uh, more or less minus 30 dB. It's okay. I go to measure. I choose external source. I choose the input. The input 1 and 2. And I choose the button RTA start sign sweep. After a few seconds I have the result. This is the result, this is the frequency response and the phase response. 
I can adjust the uh, the curve in the in the screen with this option fit graph 1 kilohertz to offset the offset in this case is minus 10 dB and the 1 kilohertz point is set to minus 10 dB so all measuring you do now are fitted on this level okay I have, I have set up my input equalizer and my input filters to adjust the uh, phase and the frequency response I go back to measure I want to check the result so I measure on the mixer output from group 1 start the measure again and I see if I clear I have to do a little more adjusting uh, in the equalizer but the phase response is perfectly flat with the Alpas filter the next example you have an uh, OEM car stereo with an, uh, with an time delay I start the measuring you see the time delay produce the clump filter now I can set two points with the mouse click with, uh, with the left mouse button to the gaps of the clump filter the point one and the point two and the fact analyzer calculates you the time shift from one channel is 0.9 milliseconds you can adjust it in your input filters and flatten this clump filter. 